Jerry Springer's life's work was full of unbelievable stories, and as it turns out, his own life also started in an unbelievable way. Jerry Springer was one of the most quintessentially American entertainers out there. His brand of tabloid, trashy daytime talk show is not a uniquely American phenomenon, but it certainly originated in the United States. And though he was most famous for his TV persona, he got a start in politics, at one point serving as the mayor of Cincinnati. Though an icon of American television, it may be surprising to learn that Springer was not born in the United States. However, he has lived in the U.S. since he was five years old. Before moving to the U.S. as a young boy, he lived in England, and his parents were refugees of World War II from Germany. When a preschool aged Jerry Springer and his parents arrived in New York City in the late 1940s, it was just the latest in a decades-long history of moving from place to place, sometimes as a desperate means of survival. Springer's father, Richard Springer, was born in Landsberg, Germany, now known as the Polish city of Gorzov. He owned a shoe store there from approximately 1930 to 1937, until they moved to Berlin. Springer and his family left their home because at the time, Jewish businesses were required to display signs that they were Jewish-owned. The elder Springer hoped for a better life and believed that things would be safer in a larger city. Unfortunately, the situation for Jewish people in Germany continued to deteriorate, and out of desperation, his parents fled again to London in August 1939. It was one month before Britain closed its borders. It's sad to know, though, that some of his family members were left behind and did not survive the Nazi regime. Springer would lose his grandparents on both sides to the atrocities of the fascists. Though Jerry Springer's family fled to England to escape persecution, their troubles were far from over. The Nazi expansion across Europe would eventually make its way to England in the form of Luftwaffe bombing raids in London. Fortunately, the city's subway system is underground and features plenty of stations that provide ample room for civilians seeking shelter from the bombing raids. One such station was Highgate, which is particularly deep underground. One night, his pregnant mother was sheltering there, and at 11.45 p.m., she gave birth to her son. The talk show host does not remember anything about it, of course, but from an article in Telegram, he joked that, every time I hear a train going off, I jump. He also noted that he wasn't aware of any bombs going off at the exact time that he was born. Springer and his family would spend the next few years in London before making their way to New York after the war. Though Jerry Springer has made a few jokes about the circumstances of his birth, he recognizes the tragic nature of it. In an interview with The Independent, Springer spoke about the trauma his parents suffered. He recognized what it must have been like being forced to leave their home for a foreign country just to have any hope of staying alive. He said, Imagine if someone came to your house, arrested your relatives, and forced you to flee to Pakistan. You didn't speak the language or know a soul, but worst of all, you had no idea what had happened to any of your family. In fact, decades later, Springer would indeed find out that at least two grandparents died in the Holocaust. It was that mystery about what became of his family that prompted him to participate in the TV series, Who Do You Think You Are? Jerry's grandmother, Marie, was one of the 65,000 Jews deported from this station to the Hell No Death Camp. As for his parents, they suffered severely from the effects of the war. Springer revealed, they talk about the war in general terms and then stop in mid-sentence. It was too painful for them. They wouldn't even watch The Sound of Music because of the Nazi uniforms in that film. He added that his parents gave the appearance of living normal lives by, quote, suppressing all that horror. 